What's up guys? We are here for Thursday's workout. We're wearing pink today because we record the day before. Make sure on Wednesdays, even if you're at home and no one's there, wear your pink, support the community. That's definitely an important piece of the puzzle right now. Today's workout is another AMRAP because it is AMRAP week. Today is a 15 minute AMRAP. As you see, the AMRAP times have been getting a little slower. I think the trainers need a little extra recovery. Anyway, we have 15 minutes on the clock, 20 shoulder presses or something thereof, or a modification that you will see, 20 front squats, 20 tricep dips, 20 push-ups, 20 one arm swings, and that will be for 15 minutes. As you can see, the workout is in the front right. Before we get into the actual movements, we're going to do a general warm up. And I, no matter what, I always love to start with 10 air squats. So let's do that. So do five air squats facing each other and then five squats facing me. Remember on those air squats, we wanna drive those knees out, heels stay down the entire time, big chest. From this profile, you can see what hap what's happening with that back. Now when they're facing forward, we can see what's happening with those knees. Are they driving out? Are chests up nice and high? What's happening with those ankles? Are we pushing those ankles out? Are our heels down the entire time? From this position facing forward, we're gonna do some walkouts. So our feet are gonna stay where they are. We're gonna put our hands on the ground and we're gonna walk our hands out forward into a plank position and then walk back. And Kate is gonna face Allie to see the other profile and we're walking out to a push-up position and then walking back. We're gonna do five of those. On that fifth one, we're gonna hold that plank position, upward plank. We're gonna to start to do some push-ups, not yet though. If you know that your push-ups are gonna be knees on the ground, put your knees on the ground now. We'll have Kate do that modification and Allie do that modification now. And in the back, we'll do our normal push-ups. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Go ahead, 10 push-ups. Now, if you need to use your knees on the ground, that's great. We still wanna make sure that whether we're doing a knee push-up or a regular push-up, or you're in one straight line between our shoulders and our knees. Elbows are staying in the entire time. We're gonna shake it out for a second. Let's get back into that plank position. And we're gonna do alternating shoulder taps. Give me 10 on each side. So that's 20 all together. Make sure that when you do that other alternating arm, you hold that stomach nice and tight. Kate, let's get our hips down a little bit. Straighten out that body, yes. Keep that core nice and tight, glutes nice and tight. We don't wanna to do too much rocking. The faster you go, the sooner you get it done but it, that's fine either way. Awesome guys. Let's get into our workout and the movements that we're going to use. And as normal with these YouTube videos, you're going to see the variety of different modifications that you do have. Let's start with our 20 shoulder presses. So let's see what everyone has. Give me 20. Let's start with what do we have with us? If we have no weight, which is the front left, you're gonna be doing an inverted push-up, which is more like an inverted handstand push-up. If you need to, put a mat or something down so the top of your head hits that. We don't wanna really hit our forehead to that mat, we wanna hit our top of the head to that mat. And then we have Kev in the back left with our slam ball. Alyssa has a wobble or a plate. Allie has dumbbells, kettlebell, torpedo, all function very, very similar. No matter what you have, you can do something today with our shoulder press. Let's go into our 20 front raises. Very similarly, whatever equipment you have, that's what you're gonna use. If you have a plate, definitely easy to hold that. Same thing with our torpedoes and our dumbbells. Kate is doing reach outs in front of us. Kev is doing the front raises with a slam ball, which is definitely gonna be tough. You're pretty much gonna have to have your palms under the ball or as close to the side as you can, but it's really gonna be underneath. And depending on how heavy that is, even Kev might even benefit from a little bit of a swing if he needs to but we wanna to try to stay as static as possible, meaning that we're not using our hips, we're not using our body to generate any momentum. Looks like Kev is having a little trouble with that slam ball back there. Even if you're not done with your 20, let's move on, all right? Thank you, Kevin. We're gonna to go to our 20 tricep dips. So give me 20 dips of whatever variety you're going to have. For the body weight, you have a box, you have a chair, you have a couch. 
Anything that's going to allow you to have some clearance. We want that elbow to have a 90 degree on the back end. So when you're on the bottom, that 90 degree elbow we need the entire time. Kevin, if it has a ball, is going to be doing behind the head extensions. Allie, same thing with her dumbbell. Or you can do kickback as an option. And Alyssa is doing the modification with a bench. But again, you can use anything that you're going to be sitting on. If you're doing that kickback, Allie's going to hold that for a few more repetitions. We want to make sure that that back is nice and flat, that elbow is attached to that side, and we're kicking that dumbbell straight back. You see how we have nice one straight line from when she goes from the bottom and then up to the top. Good. Moving on to our push-ups. We did those in the warm-up, so we're not going to exhaust it now. And then we have our one-arm swings. What are our options if we don't have anything to work with? We're going to be shown by Kate right here is going to be doing a squat thrust for our one arm swings. Allie has one dumbbell. That's fine. If you don't have something that you could hold with one arm, then you're just going to do slam ball with Kevin in the back. If you have a slam ball and if you have a wall ball, you can just do a swing with two arms. It really depends on what equipment you have. Perfect. The workout, like I said, is 15 minutes. For the next 15 minutes, we're going to let you guys ride out with them, work out together. The purpose of these YouTube videos are to give you as much modification as possible, to give you as much instruction as possible, and then work out with them at your convenience. If you want to go live later, we're on Zoom and we're on Instagram Story Live, and that will be more collaborative, more fun and engaging here. We're letting this ride out with some music for 15 minutes. We're up in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> 